The year that is now beginning will certainly bring great challenges to the world of work, whose actors the ILO uniquely brings together at the world level. Great challenges too for the multilateral system, of which our organization is the oldest member. And of course, 2019 marks the centenary of the ILO. We have a remarkable 100 years history of achievement, sustained by the combined determination of governments, workers and employers to advance the cause of social justice by making the world a fairer, safer, cleaner and more prosperous place to live and to work. It's true that we have come a long way since 44 countries founded the ILO in 1919. Today we have 187 member states and for many, although not all, the nature of work has changed out of all recognition. But because of the challenges we now face, it's absolutely necessary that the ILO looks firmly to the future as it marks its centenary. We live at a time of unprecedented, transformative change at work, with the vision of the ILO's founders, described by some as a wild dream of securing peace through social justice, it is surely not beyond our capacities to build the future of work that we want a future with decent jobs for all. And that vision and the political will that goes with it is more than ever needed. Because for too many people, the world of work falls far short of their reasonable expectations. Hopes and fears are unevenly distributed. Uncertainty is high and the levels of trust are all too low. And this tells us that the ILO centenary matters. It matters to us all, whatever the country we live in and whatever our place in the world of work or beyond. Does a future free of poverty, conflict and injustice have to remain a wild dream? By coming together this year to shape the future of work that we want, we can provide an answer.